This is the Retcon League of Legends chronology in three minutes. This video is brought to you by Amino. Amino is a social networking application that allows you to create and join communities for your favorite video games, books, movies, and much, much more. Click the link in the description to join Amino directly or search for Amino in the App Store. Once you're in, you can find like-minded friends. You'll get access to an updated newsfeed of your favorite content and you can even create your own Amino community. Make sure to follow Arcade Cloud and send a message with your favorite Amino community so far. If you're a League of Legends fan, check out the League of Legends Amino community. Amino, your interest times infinity. Let's begin. The world is nothingness. Aurelian's soul, a powerful dragon, forges the stars of the universe. This universe holds the planet Runterra, which contains the supercontinent of Valoran, a land teeming with life and magic. The planet holds intelligent life that includes humans, yordles, as well as powerful and unique beings that are usually of a magical and mysterious nature. Lots and lots of time passes, different tribes form different cultures. The Void, another dimension that interacts with Runterra, is known known to be the homeworld to other creatures. These tribes war against each other constantly for various political and resource-based reasons, using magic as their primary weapon. These are known as the Rune Wars. As time passes, these tribes form large and powerful city-states, inhabiting their own unique cultures and way of living. These differences add fuel to the fiery wars, each more devastating than the last. The magic used during the war causes massive amounts of damage leading to magical instability throughout Valoran. Massive earthquakes and magical storms threaten to eradicate all life on the planet. To prevent their possible demise, a group of powerful summoners, champions, and mages form the League of Legends, an organization in which feuding city-states would agree to settle conflicts in a controlled environment known as the Fields of Justice. These fighting arenas successfully minimize dangerous usages of magic and save the casualties that would normally ensue during combat. When two city-states are in conflict, representatives of each city-state would meet in a particular Field of Justice to organize the battle. The League picks the field based on which countries are in conflict and for what reason. The Warring Faction selects a number of champions to represent them in conflict. These champions could range from warriors fighting for their city-state, a mercenary hired to represent the city-state in combat, a creature captured by the League of Legends to be used as a sort of Pokemon for the city-state, a bloodlust villain living for the thrill of combat, a prisoner fighting for freedom, or powerful beings agreeing to work for the League of Legends in order to further their study of magic. Magic. Powerful summoners conjure the champions into the field of justice where the two sides battle until a victor is determined and the conflict is resolved in the favor of the victor. Should a city-state commence battle outside of the fields of justice, the League will take actions to prevent the conflict and punish the offending city-states accordingly. Two city-states, Demacia and Noxus, have the worst conflict, battling the most often and causing the nastiest magical damage. The most popular field of justice, Summoner's Rift, can be found in between the two. All major city-states cooperate with the League of Legends because a lack of cooperation means they are also unable to protect themselves from invading forces, even forces already in the allegiance to the League of Legends. The primary problem, Noxus, a city-state, is always on the conquest for more power with a desire for total domination. Any city-state not in cooperation with the League will likely suffer the fate of a Noxian invasion. It's thanks to the League that Runterra can remain safe and stable for now. And that's League of Legends in 3. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I didn't actually have any idea that there was so much backstory to League of Legends, although it kind of makes sense. I thought the backstory to League of Legends is that it used to be Dota, and that Dota used to be a Warcraft 3 custom map. Wow, we're going way back now. If you like the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more content, subscribe.